decoration and structure using darts. Now, I want to share with you a color that I love to make using darts. You will start with two pieces of material, three and a half inches by 19. You take one and fold it in half to find the center. Mark a line in your material and then start to mark lines at one inch distance. When you have all your lines marked, you can proceed to make your darts at one quarter inch space. If you want, you can mark the list, but I feel like it's not a big deal. I can eyeball it. So I'm making all my darts and look how the curve is forming. So I will proceed until I have all the darts done. This takes a little bit of time, but you will see the result. It's so cute. I love it. Here you go. I have the first one done. Now I will go and do the same with the second. I have them both. And sometimes I use this process as well to do cuff in blouses. Let me put it on the mannequin to see the size because I just did it like by memory, let's say. So I'm going to iron all the darts toward the same side. Like this video if you think this is satisfying. Now I'm ironing the darts to the opposite side. If you have a color, then you can just draw your color, but I will use it the way it is. So I'll put them together over fabric and then I will cut the lining. And I will cut as well interfacing and I will iron the interfacing to my color. You can see that after I iron it, it doesn't stand so much like it was before, like an accordion. I'm ironing the other side and then I will proceed to sew the lining with the top. I will snip all my curve just to be sure that it will fold very well. And then I will go and make an understitch. We did understitch in the mask making video. And if you remember, we used the understitch to prevent the material from the lining to go out. Now because it's uh, higher, I'm cutting the excess and now I will fold to sew the edges. Then I will fold the edge a little bit so when I turn, it turns straight. If you want, in the last one to the other side, you can do the edges a little bit underneath so when the edge is finished you don't see it it's all clean let me show you how it look now i'm cutting the extra material let me show you how it looks uh, you see it looks really good because i know that it's so good now i can cut the extra material so here you go this is the way i'm gonna do i will go to the darts going to the sides but you can do it the way you want it's not big deal but this is the way i like it I will finish my collar with a bias, but leaving a tail so I can make a bow too. The bias I have is just single folded, so I will just iron it folded again, and I make sure that one side is a little bit, a little bit bigger than the other. Now I'm making a stay stitch to secure the two sides, and now I will sew the bias. For sewing the bias, I'm measuring the distance and then pinning it. And now I will proceed and sew from the back first, one color and then the other. And then I will just turn and sew the front. I will make sure to cover the line, the first line I did. And then I'm just closing everything. It's done. Let me try to make a nice bow. I used to make nice bows, but I don't know what is going on. But let me just, here you go. You see how cute it is? You can make one stitch to the opposite side to create an effect. But I honestly like it like that. Look at the back. Look at the back finish. And I really love it. I use this with like a many uses. I really use a lot of darts for decorative purpose. So guys, I hope that you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Bye.